back on the floor again. This is going to be black metal and melodic black metal and Viking metal. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I don't know how much batteries I have, so this one will be a little bit faster. Um, it's a Samuel Blood Ritual. And this is an album that I don't see very often. Uh, Impaled Nazarene, Swami Finn and Perkele. Marduk, fuck me Jesus. Enslaved. Eld. I guess we're getting. Uh, this is the my favorite enslaved. Viking R of LD something. Awesome, awesome enslaved. Um, Emperor Prometheus Fire. I got that on eBay a lot. Um, Emperor on the Nightside Eclipse. Which is, you know, another good Emperor. But this is the Emperor and Slaves split. This is one of my favorite. Enslaved and Emperor. This is awesome. This is, I always like the early stuff. I don't like it when bands start experimenting and being weird. Total Hemsgard, Kronish, Total Kong. Or how the hell are you? So, I don't know what would happen to Total Hemsgard. I don't know if they're still around or not. Pretty decent black metal. The Norwegian Helheim. There's a bunch of different kinds of Helheims. Aurora Nora, Deep Tracks of Hell. This is pretty decent, but. Well, this Aurora Nora is the best, in my opinion. This is Black Thrash Attack. The kind of the energy in that is just insane. Um, this is uh, Dragon Force. <laughs> Actually, this is Dragon Force before they became Dragon Force. This is a Demoniac, a black metal band from New Zealand. Uh, some of you probably already knew that, some of you didn't. Yep. This is, um... It goes on eBay. Sometimes it's cheap, sometimes it's not. But I've had that for since like 1997 or eight, between 97 and 2000, I picked it up. This is over Madden June. Mat Ham Tudel Win Hard One. Natten's Madrigal. That's the shortened of it. Um, it's the only over I like. Everything else is really experimental. I mean, and that's all right. I mean, but that's my favorite. Tolus Evil 1999. My favorite Tolis album, which is Pure Black Energy. And this is the Japanese Sabbath. Um, they're black, they're metal, they're thrash metal, they're even like some kind of glam metal sometimes. But they're an awesome, 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 awesome Japanese metal band. They've been around since like the 70s or something. They're like the Sabbath of Japan. Um, Dark Throne, Panzerfaust. Uh, my favorite Dark Throne, Ablaze in Northern Sky. Um, this is the Morbid Mayhem uh, Tribute to the Black Emperors. This is the Mayhem um, Dawn of the Black Hearts, which is live recordings of uh, Mayhem. But you know, everybody buys it for the cover. <laughs> dead, dead. Um, this is Mayhem. Um, <clears throat> Dia Mysterious De Dom Satanus. Which is cool. This one has um, lots of great stuff on it. I love that album. I actually drew a picture one time and I drew the cover of that. Um, another good mayhem, uh, Death Crush. Yeah. And of course, this is that's my back patch. It is pure fucking Armageddon. I like that album, but it's definitely definitely different. Um, Dark Throne, Transylvania Hunger. With, like, pure fucking Armageddon, basically. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. That's all. And a lot of people are like, Oh, man, you have like good black metal. You all this crappy melodic black metal. Oh, cold, blah, blah. Whatever. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Demi Borger. This is uh, Throwing Darkness Triumphant. Melodic black metal. Dissection. Uh, the Past is Alive. It's pretty good. Um... We're getting some Viking metal. Uh, Storm, Nord of Ind. One of the best Viking metals, in my opinion. Or it's like folk, Viking folk black metal. Um, this is uh, Myth Oten, Around the Oaken Table. Good Myth Oten, but I really like this one better in the Sign of the Raven, which is better. Um, this is another Viking metal, Isengard, Frostmork. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. There's probably people in. Northern Europe going, oh, the guys can't say it. Well, yeah, well, oh well. This is a uh, Tearfing, I believe. Yes, Tearfing. Another Viking metal. Pretty good, pretty decent. This is a Vinvir. 
Um, a lock my door. <laughs> Pretty good Viking metal. Um, this is a uh, tumulus and mock, which is um, it's pretty good. Um, I think mock becomes campfire. Don't quote me on that, because my metal nerdness isn't as good as it used to be. This is Bathory Twilight of the Gods. Bathory Hammerheart, which is awesome. Bathory. If you don't know who Bathory is, then <laughs> I can't help you. Um, this is um. Bloodfire Death. This is one of my favorite um, Bathory's. Um, this is definitely my favorite Bathory, which is uh, in the sign of the Black Mark. It's. Um, I love this album. I love that album. And another Bathory album I love is Bathory of Bathory. Yes. And this is a tribute to Bathory by a bunch of Greek metal bands. Now we're getting into the melodic black metal, so, you know, all you true black metal people, you know, you might be freaking out, but, um, here we go, Arcturus, <laughs> this is actually a decent Arcturus, this isn't, this is way before they become space metal, so, this is, uh, Opeth, Morning Rise, um, newer Opeth, not a big fan of that Opeth I like, I can't say it for any other Opeths that are... Uh, my arms, my hearse might be all right, but I don't own it, so it wasn't good enough for me to buy. So this is a Demon Burger, um, for all Tid, for all Sid, for all Tid. Um, that's pretty good, I guess. Ragnarok, a Rising Realm, and definitely my favorite Ragnarok. Um, Ancient Svaltelheim. This is another one that's harder to find. This is what's uh, this one? Oh yeah, this is Lombonic Art, um, Moon in the Scorpio, pretty good. This is Obtained Enslavement Witchcraft, pretty good. Thy Serpent, Christ Crusher, very good Thy Serpent. There's another, there's another Thy Serpent that's good too, and I can't remember what it's called. Uh, this is Diabolical Masquerade, Raven Dusk in My Heart, which is pretty good. Um, when I say pretty good, I mean... Yeah, good. Actually, there's a lot of people probably watching this stuff going, yeah, yeah, that's good. And this is Camp Far's second album, I believe. i tell you the truth, I haven't listened to it that much, but, you know, it's some Norwegian name. Fra Uder Skodnad. Just like I can't pronounce them. Was it Melom Skaldelik? Blah, blah, blah. But Camp Far, this is definitely one of the, my favorite Camp Far album. Um, I would say this is probably in my top ten for um, metal albums. Love that album. The only Satyricon album I have is uh, Nemesis Divina. Uh, I want some of the earlier stuff, but I mean, it's it's alright. Old Man's Child, Born of the Flickering. I love Old Man's Child. I don't care what you say. Well, up until a certain album. Old Man's Child, uh, Pagan Prosperity. And this is Old Man Child's um, Ill-Natured Spiritual Invasion, which is cool. This reminds me of a Massacre album cover, probably by the same artist. Um, this is when I stopped listening to Old Man's Child, um, Revelation 666. It just isn't the same as those three albums. Or actually, if you just want to get two Old Man's Child al albums, get Pagan Prosperity and Ill-Natured Spiritual Invasion. Um, Gene Hoglan is the drummer on this album. And if you don't know who Gene Hoglan is, then you're a poser. Um, just joking. <laughs> Covenant, um, uh, Covenant Next Polaris. I mean, back in my day, you, people would say that stuff to you. Oh, you don't know who that is? Fuck you, poser. Well, you don't know what this is? Fuck you, poser. And you know what? Today, it's like, like I said, you can have, I mean, you can do anything call yourself metal now. It's ridiculous. You know? And like, even hardcore, it's like ridiculous. I don't know. There's no, there's no distinction anymore. There's, Except for, you know, the, what people call true metal, you know. Okay, so, um, since I don't make another video, I'm going to go through this. And this is basically like heavy metal and rock. I know. Um, well, this isn't really. Well, this is metal. This prong, prove you wrong. Prong, um, primitive origins. Is awesome. This is a doom metal band, um, unorthodox. This is, uh, 
Pentagram first day is here too, which if you don't know who Pentagram is, it's basically they're one of the Godfathers of Metal. Um, this is a Jethro Tull, thick as brick, awesome. This is the very first heavy metal album ever, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for this right here, you wouldn't have that. Or it wouldn't be the way it is. Black Sabbath, Paranoid. Black Sabbath, Masters of Reality. Black Sabbath, Volume 4. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Witchfinder General, Death Penalty. Diamond Head, um, Behold the Beginning. Awesome. If you don't know who these bands are, this is all a new wave of British heavy metal. Um, this is Angel Witch. Sorry, I'm buzzing through this. Judas Priest, Sad Wings of Destiny. Iron Maiden Killers. No, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden Killers. Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Iron Maiden... Whoa, I'm hurrying, so I'm going to for it. So Power Slave. Iron Maiden, No Prayer for the Dying. I basically have all the Iron Maidens up to there. Um, Iron Maiden, Somewhere in Time. Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. Iron Maiden, um, Peace of Mind. Oh, no, I have all, the, all of them up here. Fear of the Dark. Iron Maiden, Fear of the Dark. Um, this is a Saxon, Unleash the Beast. Um, Vidim, Black Metal. Um, High on Fire, uh, Blessed Black Wings. This is the Sword. Um, what is this? Gods of the Earth. That's not old metal, it just sounds like old metal. Do metal. Sword, uh, Age of Winners. I know the Sword's a popular big band, but I like them. You know, it'll happen. Macedon, Life's Blood. That's good, Macedon. This is Pentagram, First Days Here too. This is awesome if you like the early stuff. Um, Ozzy, Blizzard of Oz. And Ozzy, Diary of a Madman. Um, and then Rockwise. We have The Seeds. This is one of the progenitors of metal and punk. This is one of the early uh, satanic rock. Black Widow, Sacrifice. Um... I'll tell you right now, I do not like Pantera. I've given them a bunch of sh sh shots, and I know people are going to be like, oh, fuck you, but you know what? If you don't like it, you don't like it. And this album's tolerable, I guess. It just sounds like hard rock to me. Um, Guns N' Roses. I feel like Guns N' Roses. I think Guns N' Roses is harder than Pantera. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Irish Drinking Song. Blade Runner soundtrack. This is uh, Rush, Moving Pictures. Rush is considered an early metal band, and yeah, I can see it. Uh, Rush 2112. Um, some stupid. Someone gave this to me. They're like, "You'll like this," and it's just in my metal. Yeah, you saw what it was. It's crap. Um, Led Zeppelin. Um, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. This is just an awesome hard rock album. Um, local band Ricketts. Uh, the Pogues, Rum, Sodomy, and the Lash. Oh, God, I got like a minute. Uh, Neurosis, Souls at Zero. Bach. Um, Gummo Soundtrack. The rest is really, um, some Pink Floyd and some Def Leppard. And then, um, this over here is like my punk and hardcore. So, um, yeah, might do another video for that, but... Anyways, I believe that is my entire metal collection. <laughs> oh yeah, well, except for, see all those seven inches down there? Those records, there's some of those, I might do a video on those. But, um, all those seven inches are mostly metal. But, uh, thanks for watching, man. Have a good time. Hail.